Hey everybody, Mandis Bucker here alongside my co-host, Sarah mm -hmm. Lyon. Welcome to Prime Time, day two of the 2018 Tampa Pro. What a show. It was, it was. Long day, but amazing event. It was worth every minute. every minute of being here to catch every second of it. There was so much going on. Flex Wheeler. Yes. The, 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 the Weeder Lifetime Achievement Award. Incredible. Unbelievable. Um, we've got the tape, the video of the whole thing. Guys, go to the website. Go to Maximum Muscle Report and watch it. It really was something special. You could see Flex Wheeler was really moved. Mm -hmm. um, the whole crowd was moved. The whole, cr really the whole was. crowd was moved. Yeah. The, the whole production and the presentation of it was just phenomenal. Tim, of course, did a, an amazing job with that. And of course, uh, Dan Solomon also played a, a big role in that. And so. they always do. Mm -hmm. You know, it, we say it over and over and we can't say it enough. Tim Gardner Productions really are something special. Mm -hmm. It's all about the athlete mm -hmm. and it, it tries to be as much about the fans and the audience Absolutely. as it can be. Yes, yes. It was a full house <laughs> it was noisy. It was loud. It was exciting. Peter McGough was here. Yes, Peter and Ann were here. It's always a pleasure to see him. Mm -hmm. Those of you who don't know, most of you know. You should know. Those of you who don't know, <laughs> you should know. Peter McGough is the all-time greatest journalist in our sport. He has set a standard that none of us will ever reach. We aspire to. Peter, thank you for all you've done. Thank you for setting the bar so high we can't reach it, but we will try. And let's try here tonight, Sarah. We'll start with the fitness division. Mm -hmm. um, Tiffany Chandler finished third. Great routine. Yep. Always high energy, high energy. She's mm -hmm. as athletic as they come. Yep. She really did a great job, and, and she was also in that first call out for the two-piece round. But the one of the great things about the fitness is that that can just all change how we were talking about a pre-judging wrap up, you know, from, from the two piece round to the, uh, routine round, routine, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, it, the placings change a little bit. Girls that weren't in the first call out for the two piece round ended up in the top five girls that were in the first call out for the two piece round did not place right. yeah. um, in that top five. Annalise Varga, um, out of Australia mm -hmm. was not in the first, and uh, first call outs for Correct. the physique round ended up fifth because her routine was so good. So, good. so, so mm -hmm. good. Fresh, new, young face. Yes. Um, we're going to be seeing a lot of her, obviously. Yes. Jacqueline Baker ended up second. Mm -hmm. Very different routine from the other two. That's one of the things that I, I personally really enjoy fitness. You get to see so many different personalities different themes sure um these routines sometimes are something special um tiffany yeah. chandler was very athletic mm -hmm. jacqueline baker was very sensual mm -hmm. um it was a very uh passionate f passionate routine it brought you back to uh um yesteryear the 20s and the 30s made it very interesting yes something to see. yes and then of course jennifer worth winning the 2018 Tampa Pro Fitness Division and going back to the Olympia her first time since 2003. Wow. 2003. This is her comeback year, comeback show. She was definitely not expecting this win and it was amazing to see that emotion on stage, yeah. you know, knowing how hard that an athlete, you know, worked to get there. And then on top of it, you know, she's a mom, 41 years old and just better than ever, evidently. And the, the whole family was here. Yeah. I heard Go, mom. Go, yeah, mom. Go, mom. It was mom. great. It, it was something to watch. Yes. Um, women's bodybuilding. <laughs> this is a great women's bodybuilding yes. show. It and really a, was. And Alina walked away with it just as we predicted. Uh, Alina Papa making her comeback after yes. two years. She, <laughs> she's going to be trouble at, yes. at the Phoenix Rising Sun yes. World Championship. Yes. And she said she's gunning for the title. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you can see it. You can see it within her physique, too. She's prepared for the it, title. Yes. She's, she's not just going for it. She's prepared to take the title. Yeah. And, and that's awesome to see a prepared athlete with the entire presentation from head to toe, from the posing, the tan, the hair, the makeup, the suit, um, her routine, all of it. 
you she know, did an amazing job. Interesting you talk about the tan, the hair, the makeup, the suit. Just flawless skin. Mm-hmm. And, and she's 40. And, she, and she's 40 years and old. And her makeup, I have to say, stood out with, with the women's bodybuilding. She, she, her makeup, she looked like a bikini woman out there with mm-hmm. her skin and her, and her makeup. Yes. Yes. Standing next to a bunch of women, female bodybuilders, and then with the presentation, it, your eyes were drawn to her yes. the entire time. Yes, fantastic. Yes, there were some others in the top five. Kim Buck, much sharper than a few weeks much ago. Much sharper, much sharper. I would have liked to see her a little higher, Kim. We look forward to seeing mm-hmm. you in Phoenix. I thought you looked fantastic, Lisa Cross. Yes, um, she she brought a great package as well. Uh, Ladon McDay coming in that third place spot. Yep. Uh, great for her. Yeah. She again brought a better improved package from the Linda Murray. Absolutely. So wonderful yep. to see all these ladies improve just within a few weeks here. Pauline Nelson, veteran and best poser. Mm-hmm. That yes. routine. Great. Surely was. <laughs> On to bikini. Bikini. We had uh, Laura Lee Chapatos take the title tonight. That is her second title here within. Third. Toronto, Chicago, Tampa. Yep. Three wins in a row at three very, very big shows. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of momentum going into the Olympia. Possible top five here. Possible top five. The rookie was Jennifer Dory. Both are from Canada. We were talking about it yesterday. Is the theme of the weekend is oh Canada. (laughs) Um, You had another Canadian, Laura Lee, who, who won. Jennifer Dory, who's the rookie, mm-hmm. took second. She's on a roll, been top five at all mm-hmm. three, four of her shows mm-hmm. here as a rookie going in. And we saw India Paulino fall into that third place spot again. Um, you know, I think I think it's time for a little bit of a change up with things for India Paulino. I think she's she's sitting in that third place spot and these newer girls, the rookies are coming out, you know, guns blazing. And India looks great as she always does, but what, what can she do differently to bring a better package to be more competitive next to those girls? She is um, only seven months postpartum. Oh, that absolutely. Absolutely. But we also we also can see that drive in India that she she wants to be back at that top spot. Absolutely. So it'll be interesting to see um, what she what she does here with the, the rest of the season with the Olympia. Six weeks. Yep. And then she'll, she'll be at the O. This is it. This yep. is the last show. Yep. You know, the Olympia of Bikini this year is going to be very interesting because you have somebody coming back. She's made a run. The GOAT. The ex-champion. The GOAT. The GOAT. <laughs> yeah. Um, Ashley yeah. Kaltwasser is back. Mm-hmm. And she she's back. You know, she's not just back on stage. She's back winning titles, winning three titles coming back and you know she, she's ready to take that spot again we'll just have to see what you know of course when when you're trying to beat someone who won the previous year you really gotta knock them down right. so we'll have to see what kind of package angelica brings and and then of course all of these these newer fresher faces and what they bring to this stage as well it'll be a very interesting olympia it's gonna be a real shake-up because mm-hmm. you might see two possibly mm-hmm. three new faces in a top five and if not the top five the top six there's going to be some disappointment from the top yeah some for some veterans and some fresh new faces yeah we'll have to see where how that shakes we'll out see where it goes. men's bodybuilding guys th- this was a show it was this was a, yet big max charles was big max charles mm-hmm. ended up third mm-hmm Alexi Rivera was everything he has been advertised. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vancouver, he looks fantastic. He came here. He was even harder, even more conditioned. He ends up winning the show, edging out Sergio Oliva Jr. Mm-hmm. But it was a show. This place was rocking and rolling. Yeah, it definitely brought definitely brought the crowd to life. Uh, very interesting to see the, the adjustments from pre-judging to finals with both of them. I think that Alexia definitely came in even harder. Yep. And again, the more he posed, the harder he got. Yep. Uh, Sergio began to die out there at the end. And and he Alexia just had him a little bit more on the conditioning. I yep. mean, you, you can't you cannot deny conditioning 
symmetry, balance, hardness, um, when it's just unbeatable, you know, it, more, a little bit more crisp and Sergio will be right there next to him as an unbeatable athlete, but it was just Alexi not Rivera's nailing it. Day. Yep. It was Alexi Rivera's yep. day. However, Alexi Rivera is going to the Olympia and so is Sergio Oliva Jr. Finishing second, got him eight points. That puts him at 14. That means Sergio Olivo Jr. is also going to the Olympia. It's great for the sport. It really Absolutely. is. He's the most entertaining bodybuilder we have in the mm -hmm. sport right now. Again, bringing that art back to the sport. Absolutely. Yep, the posing, the, the, the element that kind of started to die out when Kai Green stopped his competing within yeah. the IFBB Pro League. So it's it's awesome to see that. And he, he's, he's a blast to watch on stage he he brings the crowd in with him and when he's, he's got on a lot stage. of fans you mm -hmm. know uh, people want to see this is the first time mm -hmm. in the history of the sport that an ex mr olympia now has a child mm -hmm. that will also be on the olympia stage mm -hmm. so this is this is history mm -hmm. this is going to be a historic event it's going to be great for the weekend in september yeah. in las vegas as was this a historic event. Yep, exactly. The biggest show in the history of the IFBB. Mm -hmm. You were out there for all of it. Yep. What was the energy like? What did it feel like out there? Incredible. It was almost as if it was something like the Olympia or the Arnold. You know, again, the whole entire crowd was engaged. And that's just something that, unfortunately, we don't see as often as we wish we did. So to see that tonight, um, and of course, like you said earlier, Tim Gardner put on another phenomenal production, and we are so grateful to be here covering Absolutely. this amazing sport and this amazing event. And we cannot wait until next time, and we can't wait for the Olympia, can't I'd wait say. For the Olympia. <laughs> Guys, if you've never, if you haven't been to the Tampa Pro, if you watch the videos and you watch the stories, again, they're all up on Maximum Muscle Report. Watch them, and I guarantee you, if you really love bodybuilding, sometime in the next year or two, jump on a plane, take a little weekend trip, vacation, call it what you will, but come and see this show. It is something special. Last year was amazing. Mm -hmm. This year topped it. I, I, I couldn't, I didn't think it could get any better. Yeah. It absolutely did. We were glad to be here. We'll try and do better next mm -hmm. time, guys. This sums up the 2018 Tampa Pro. Sarah Lyon, I'm Mandis Buckle. Like I said, we'll try and do better next time. Prime time coming at you from the 2018 Tampa Pro.